right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the challenger, Super. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Ready? So here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few No championship for the Knicks. Uh, we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, what a punch. Combination lands for him. He's really putting his strikes together. I mean, he feels himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. 
Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Nice punch land over the top. Nice right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Just misses there with the left. Again, in the clinch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Nice strike. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right and a nice job at least staying upright on that. Connects with a right. Oh, collar tie. Try to establish that jab. Good stick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Again, back into the position. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with the left there. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge plus. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, he heard a bell and jab. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Be able to land there with the straight left. 15 seconds. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly 
with their legs and have that level of success. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Barney closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Away from his power. Away from his power. Right punches there. Just out of range with that right hook. Good punch, Lance. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. All right, single collar tie now. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch to clinch. And they set. Three minutes remain in the round. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Great punch landing, so much power. Leg kick. Right hand is true. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Beautiful kick. Nice loop and punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Blocks the shot. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Slips to avoid that left. Beautiful punch. the separation now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, single collar tie here. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Look at the clip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he tagged him with the other. Oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. It was high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. All right, that's the end of round number two.
All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Got the single collar tie. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly going to like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge. And he certainly did there. Straight punch lands. Lands with the right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar side. And they separate. Nice leg kick land. Landed a good uppercut there. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice counter shot there. Remain in the run. That's a big spike right there. Nice head kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Liver kick. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave the mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Nice kick. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Back and forth we go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Ooh, big shot land. Punch is blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying the flying knee there. A little single collar tie there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. 
Yeah. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the oh. target. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. in the books, we are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go in an extra 10 minutes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really... This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the point guard. He's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body. With that body. Both fighters throwing heat now. Punch over the top. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Changes his stance. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice head kick. Big punch land. Oh, oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. That would land it clean. Shot to the body is blocked. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big punch lands in the middle. Limit the 
mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. An uppercut in. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Calm down. Calm down. This is it, though. You're losing this one. You've got to lose your You ready? You ready? ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, big head kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about to done. Very bad head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Punch coming, it's blocked. That right hand landed. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Here, somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch, man. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Oh, blocks the shot. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like a land right on that cut. Right on the cut. He's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. Just keep making it split showing his opponent that he has no mercy. All right, single collar tie now. Out of range with that one. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. And they separate. Big head kick land. Big kick. Oh, nice right hand. Some nice back and forth action here. Ooh, what a punch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh! He's out! 
He got him! Woo! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every round of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Ida. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain.